I want to talk a little bit about naming conventions and Google Sites. So when you first create your site and you type in the title for your site up here in the left hand corner, it will automatically add this, this the same title to this page right here. Okay. Now, just remember, this is your title page, your home page. This does not have to be named the same thing. It does not. You can, you can choose this, whatever you want to name it. But this title right here is going to be what is published when you publish it. Let me just show you. So when I click publish, it is going to automatically pick up the site title right there and name it that unless you change it. You're allowed to change this. So you could say, this is Blades Environmental Science. And then you could publish it. However, once you say Blades dash Environment dash Science, that's the only time you can use that title. If you make another Environmental Science site, You'll have to give it a different title. You can only, it's, it's unique to this one site. Also, let me show you what happens. I did not publish this site, but I did publish this one earlier today. So once I've published it, and this one, let's take a look at it. Let's view the published site. Once it's published, whatever you choose to name it is this end part. It's a long title. It's a long URL. The whole URL takes sites and Google and our email email domain, and then it adds whatever you've chosen at the end. So that's going to be your published site. So just remember that's that's long. But let's get back over here. Once you've published it, you can unpublish it. So you can toggle between a published site and an unpublished site. And so I, all I have to do is go to unpublish right here, and then it becomes unpublished. You'll know it's unpublished because it will turn purple right here. And that's just the difference between your site title, your title of your homepage, and what it's going to be like when you publish it.